Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the vlog. My name is Vic Barry. Bit of a tutorial for you guys today, especially if you've got a DJI Osmo Pocket, because as lots of you have been telling me in comments from one of my previous videos about the codec issues with the Osmo Pocket, this is going to help you out big time. <laughs> What we're going to do is create proxies. Now, creating a proxy basically is a low res version of your Osmo Pocket file, and it's going to be the one that you're going to work with and edit with. It's really easy to do, so there's a couple of steps that you need to take. So I'm going to create a project from scratch on Adobe Premiere. Let's create a new project. I've called this Osmo Proxies. So there's a couple of things you can do. You can do this right now, or you can do it at a later stage. It's probably a good idea to get into the habit of doing it straight away, and I'll show you a little trick in a minute that's going to save you doing it all the time. So we're in general here when we're creating a new project. What you need to go to is ingest settings. We need to select ingest here and we've got a bunch of options. Copy, transcode, create proxies, copy and create proxies. What we want is to create the proxies. So we have a number of proxy resolutions here. So you can select whichever one you want, but I'm gonna select the Apple Pro Wears one here, or you can go with the GoPro Cineform, either work quite well. And there's a reason I'm doing 1024 by 540, and I will show you in a second why that is, because it makes life a little bit easier. So proxy destination, this is where the proxy files are going to go. So it can be the same as the project, which means wherever you save your project, that's where they're going to be. You can use a preset destination, you can have created cloud files, or you can choose a location. So for this one, I'm just going to leave it as save as project. I'm going to select OK. So we've got our project set up. Let's select import. I'm going to import a piece of Osmo pocket footage here. This is something I shot in West Cork. So let's go with this. So it's going to import the files. And then automatically, because of the ingest settings, it's opening media encoder. Now what media encoder is going to do is create the proxy file for you to work with. So we can see it is creating this low res proxy from the preset that we've selected in Adobe Premiere. And this is what you're going to be editing with and it's going to make life so much easier when it comes to working with your Osmo pocket footage. Once your proxy is created, you can X out of it. And now we need to turn on proxies because if we drag this into the timeline here, we can see it's struggling, it's on full. Let's drop this down to one eighth. And we can see it is still struggling. So we need to work with the proxy file and the way we do that is turn on proxies. So let's turn on proxies here. And the reason I selected a 1024 codec is because when the proxies are on, we can see there's bars at the side. So it doesn't fit our sequence, which in this case is 3840 by 2160, as we can see. So it gives you an idea, okay, proxies are on, even though there's a little blue mark here, when you're operating in a different resolution, it just is a visual cue to go, okay, the proxies are on, because sometimes you do forget to turn this on and off. So now that the proxy is on, we can see that we can go back and forth here really, really easily. And it doesn't matter where you're working, whether it's on the timeline or whether you're editing here and you're selecting your in and out points, it doesn't matter, it works perfectly smooth. So that's a huge difference. If you don't have the toggle proxies button that I have, well, it's gone on the power of editing, all you need to do is select the plus symbol, select the toggle proxies one here, drag it on to your buttons, and that's it. And now proxies are on and off. So that's a really short way of being able to work with the Osmo pocket footage easily. Now, if you want to make life a little bit easier, because do you want to do this every single time you're making a video? No. So let's save out the session. And just a quick tip here as well, guys, that when you are saving out the session, before you do, maybe just delete all the footage that you don't need for your blank session to start again. So when you do open up this session, you've got an empty slate and just those ingest settings are ready to go. So let's select save, save as. I'm going to call this proxy session. One last thing as well, by the way, this is the final step you need to take before you render out your video and export it. You need to toggle the proxies off turn them off and you're good to render and export otherwise you won't get the full quality footage you'll get the proxy so that's it guys i hope this video has been useful for you if you have found it useful please consider subscribing my name is vic thank you so much for watching this has saved me so much frustration in doing it yes it does take an extra couple of minutes to render out those proxies at the beginning but it's far easier to do that than to be struggling with the Osmo Pocket footage in Premiere. So subscribe button is there. It'd be awesome if you'd hit it. And we'll see you on the next episode of the vlog really soon. And by the way, this whole video, this part, except the Premiere part, was all shot in the Osmo Pocket. See you in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't stop fighting for yourself. <laughs>